Good afternoon, guys. How are you? There was a work that has to be done. Let's start it now. I had told you to finish this assignment. How many of you have done it? Good. You won't do it. I'll do it. Okay. And you have to understand the process because this is what is going to come in the paper. आज P Y Q भी करने हो ये भी करने हैं. ठीक है. कोई रोएगा नहीं धोएगा नहीं एवरी वन इज गोइंग टू सिट एंड नाउ एवरी वन इज गोइंग टू डू दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फाइंड द यूनिट प्लेस ऑफ फाइंड द यूनिट प्लेस ऑफ सिक्स ए बी रेस टू दिपार सिक्सटी फोर वेयर ए एंड बी आर टेंथ एंड यूनिट डिजिट ऑफ द नंबर रेस्पेक्टिवली राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज ए इन टू बी इज ट्वेंटी फोर गाइज A and to B is twenty-four. How many sets are possible when A and B are? देखो, he has mentioned you. A and B are unit place and hundred uh, place and ten place and unit place, right? So it would be eight comma three. If I talk about A B, three comma eight, four comma six and six comma four, right? If I put six eighty-three raised to the power sixty-four, the unit digit would be one. But if I put the second option, six thirty-eight raised to the power sixty-four, unit digit would be six. Answer is not unique. First is not giving you answer. This is the way to move. Okay, Navneet. Then he says B is greater than four, which means B can be equal to five, six, seven, eight, nine. In that case, six A five. Raised to the power sixty-four would end with five, but six a six raised to the power sixty-four would end with six. Again, answer is not unique. Cross. When there are two crosses, then what we do? We mix the two statements. We mix the two statements. So once I mix these two statements, right? What do I get? A cross B is equal to twenty-four. B is greater than four. B is greater than four is this option. Or this option, which means now it is six thirty-eight raised to the power sixty-four definitely ends with six, or six four six raised to the power sixty-four definitely ends with six. With the mixing, you get a unique answer. Unit place is six. Answer is three. You can get this question in the paper because number system per unit digit was there. Clear? We have done a lot of questions. Question number thirteen. Have you done it? Okay. Then your answer is wrong. Katham. Answer is A one. Haan, it's okay. No problem. Abhi baat kar lete. Ye clear hai sabko, guys. Kujbu, is it okay? Have you attended yesterday's class? Okay. This is French. If you have not attended, this is French. Okay, don't worry, sir. Look, don't worry. Tension is not there. Chinta, chita saman. Okay. Okay. What is the unit digit of question thirteen? I am doing all important questions from this assignment, which I believe can come in your paper, and then I am doing PYQs. Katham, many rukraj. Okay, get it. So, what is the unit digit of? Three to eight raised to the power sixty-four into eight forty-nine raised to the power x. Now three twenty-eight raised to the power sixty-four would end with six. So basically, its unit place. So, you know, into eight forty-nine raised to the power x. Statement one: x is a <coughs> multiple of three less than ten, which means x would be equal to Zero, three, six, and nine. Whatsoever it is, if I put three over here, or six over here, or nine over here, this is ending with six and zero over here. Unit won't be same, isn't it? If I put, they go zero put karta hu. If I put x is equal to zero, I get a number ending with six into number ending with one, which is ending with six. If I put x is equal to one, sorry, if I put x is equal to three, this is number ending with six, and if it is three. 
एंडिंग विद नाइन सिक्स नाइन था एंडिंग विद फोर आंसर इज नॉट यूनिक राइट सेकेंड अ नंबर ही सेज एक्स इज ऑड कम ऑन इट इज गिविंग यू आंसर दिस इज सिक्स एट फोर्टी नाइन रेस टू दीपर ऑड अ नंबर एंडिंग विद नाइन रेस टू दीपर ऑड ऑलवेज एंड विद नाइन खत्म सो डेफिनेटली इफ एक्स इज ऑड इन दैट केस इट इज नंबर एंडिंग विद सिक्स इन टू एट फोर्टी नाइन रेस टू दीपर ऑड वुड बी नंबर एंडिंग विद सिक्स इन टू नंबर एंडिंग विद नाइन बिकॉज एनी नंबर एंडिंग विद नाइन रेस टू दीपर ऑड एंड विद नाइन सिक्स नाइन द फोर दूसरी से आंसर आ रहा है The second one is giving you answer. Why? Why do you want to mix it? You are being forced to mix because you want to ignore zero. <laughs> When second statement is giving you answer, why do you want to mix? This is the beauty of data sufficiency. It forces you to mix. Now I think you would yourself realize that you know you wanted to ignore zero because zero, three, six, and nine were there. So you thought ki no. It's perfect if uh, you know uh, we just ignore odd. But six be to tha. Six is not odd. <clears throat> and definitely we had written it in unit digit a number ending with nine raised to the power odd always ends with nine. The second is giving you answer. Why do you want to mix? Answer is one. Second statement is giving you answer. First is not giving you answer. Hello to all nine students also, guys. I hope you have done something. <laughs> Hey, people sitting live have not done anything. Hi, Aman. How are you? Yuvraj. Today's topic is data sufficiency. Hey, yar, class start karwao. Bol rahe class ni start hua. Guys, are you able to? Online students. Clear? Abhi clear hai. Arushi, I'm really disappointed. Tune bhi kuch nahi kiya. Kiya? Sir. Question number seventeen. What is the first term of an AP? What is the first term of an AP? Sum of first three terms is thirty. Now, so now, first term of an AP, I had told you three terms in AP would be a minus d, a, and a plus d. But he is asking, what is the first term of an AP? What is the answer for seventeen? Four, guys. Rahul, you have not tried Arushi, huh? You don't remember. Okay, he says first option is no. Always assume three terms to be a minus d, a and a plus d. I have done AP with you. I have told you this is how you have to assume three terms. Clear? Eh? So now the sum of the first three terms is thirty. So a minus d plus a. Plus a plus d is equal to thirty. Cancel, cancel. Three a is equal to thirty. A is equal to ten. But a is not the first term. It is the second term. First is not giving you answer. Then he says the product of first three terms is nine sixty. A minus d into a into a plus d is equal to nine sixty. Which would give you a times a square minus d square is equal to 960. But a and d both are unknown. You cannot solve it by second alone because when we check second, we forget first. So second alone is not giving you answer, right? Then mixing them together, one plus two. So it gives you a is equal to 10, right? And a times a square minus d square is equal to 960. So I put the value ten times ten square minus d square is equal to nine sixty. Cancel, cancel. Which means hundred minus ninety six is equal to d square. Which means d square is equal to four. Which means d is equal to plus minus two. This is brilliant. There are two values of d. So if you write AP ki term, likhte ho, if you take d is equal to two, then AP ban jati hai ten, twelve. And eight, but if you take d is equal to minus two, then AP would be twelve, eight, and ten. So first term, kya hai? Either eight or twelve. Answer is not unique. Four. Clear? 
<coughs> we have given you solutions as well. You should have attempted it actually. Solutions hain tum logon ke paas. Yes, in the drive, all the assignments have been solved and there is a solution drive also. You would be the best batch because you would be sorting out everything and then the testing would begin. So, yeah, come on. And only four or five classes a week and that also was your demand finish of the syllabus. So, let's let's now get it done. Na, yeah. Yeah, na? So, this is the time where we have reached a pinnacle. I don't want you to go down after a pinnacle because you were really performing well. Before Diwali, this batch was really doing well. What are you doing after Diwali? Homesickness? Hujbu, are you okay? How was your Diwali? Mask? <laughs> Chalo, next day ka jai. Any question you want me to do? 25. Anil, Milan, Kiran and Rajesh are four friends. How many of them are married? True statement. There are Anil, Milan, Kiran and Rajesh. He says true statement is Kiran and Kiran and Rajesh, they are married. Great. But for from first statement, we do not know something about Anil and Melin, we don't know. Okay. So, first statement is not sufficient. Second statement, he says false statement. At least one of Anil and Melin is married. It is a false statement. Galat. At least, at least one of them is married is a false statement. What would be the true statement? None, right? None of them is married, which means uh, Anil and Melin are unmarried ha ha to theek hai na at least ko at most kar do na at least one of anil and milind is married it is a false statement both are you know true would be both are married so i think yes sorry both are married true would be nahi yaar married ho raha hai you are saying, I, I agree, they go, uh, true me ho jayega si, pehli cheez, false statement is, at least one of them, malab, Anil is married, maybe Melinda is not married, isn't it, Anil is not married, Melinda is married, or both Anil and Melinda both are married, this is, this is the meaning, but this is false, but this is wrong, so what is the true, no one is married, both are unmarried. Come on. Okay, okay, no. Malab, agar tum iska false karte ho, okay, okay, no. So true, yehi hoga ki both are unmarried. Kadam, right? So both are unmarried, which means now Anil and Milan are unmarried. That's right here. Yeah? But then we don't know the status of K and R. If I combine both, so I get K and R are married and a and M are not married. So, yes, 3 is the answer. 26 ho gaya? Guys, 26. Kisi ka koi problem? Anyone? Navneet? Nea? Deko. He says, what would be the Ram share in the profit of a partnership if they put, see, investment of Ram? is to investment of Shyam, is 7 is to 3, right, but now there is, you know, partnership may first thing he has said is that Ram put 2100 rupees for 3 months, now Ram's time period is given, but Shyam's time period is not given, first statement, if you look at Ram has put in 7000 rupees, sorry, huh? uh, 2100 rupees, if Ram has put in 2100 rupees, guys, so, definitely investment is in ratio 7 is to 3. In that case, Shyam would be putting how much money? Shyam would actually be putting, kitna karenge yaar? 900. But time period of Ram, time period of Ram is 3 months. Shyam ka time period ni de rakha first statement mein. First statement is not true. Right? If you say Shyam put in money for 6 months, 
Now, when I say Sham put in money for six months, then profit sharing ratio would be uh, between Ram and Sham would actually be seven into time of Ram is two, three into time of Sham. Time of Sham kitna hai six. So, is me time of Ram is not given. Second statement. Why? Because when we see second statement, we forget the first statement. All right. So, second statement alone is not true. First is not true. Second is not true. If I mix them together. <coughs> Then I know Ram has put in money for three months. Shyam has put in money for six months. Definitely, profit sharing would be seven into. Iska kitna tha? Three months na? Six months. Or uska kitna tha? Three months. Is to three into six months. So this is answer. Mixing them together, we know the investment. We know the time. Definitely, we can get the profit sharing ratio. Hardly matters. Question kya hai? Ram's share in the profit. <coughs> so, Ram's share in the profit would be 21 is to 18, which comes out to be 7 is to 6. So, his share would be 7 by 13 times the profit. Share which hai. Ram's share in the profit. 7 by 13. Ye ni pucha ki what is Ram's profit? Right? So, total profit diya hota to fir hum bol dete. क्वेश्चन 27 हो गया बताओ ये कम ऑन 28 व्हिच वन 6th ये 6th हुआ है गाइस 6th गाइस 6th 6th ही सेज इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू गिवन कंसेक्यूटिव नेचुरल नंबर्स ग्रेटर देन सो एन and n plus 1, is it greater than 92? This is your question. Is n into n plus 1 greater than 92? This is your question. First, he says, the difference between the square of the larger number and the larger number is 90. So, <coughs> larger number ka square minus number ka square. The difference between the square of the larger number and the larger number, sorry, <coughs> and n. Isn't it? Okay. N plus 1 is equal to 19. Are you easy? N plus 1 common liya. It is N plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 90. So N into N plus 1 is equal to 90. So this is giving you answer. No, he say no, the product is not greater than 92. Because product is equal to 90. <laughs> right. First statement is giving you answer. Second statement is also giving you answer. Answer in both statements is no. But the answer is there. Right. Second statement karke dikhaun. Kar lo ek bar. Right. It is a good statement. The smaller of the two numbers. The smaller of the two numbers. When added to a squared even integer. 2k ka square. Right. And divided by 2. Give 6.5. Squared even integer. And he has written one thing more. Natural. N and N plus 1 are natural numbers. So, pahala, uh, even integer kya hai 2. So, N plus 2 ka square is 4. By 2 is 6.5. Which means N plus 4 is equal to th uh, 13. Which means N is equal to 9. So, N plus 1 would be equal to 10. So, the product is 90. But then, sir, if you check out the other integer, you know, other even number. So, I check another even number. N plus, second even number is 4. 4 ka square is 16. By 2 is equal to 6.5. N plus 16 is equal to 13. N is equal to minus 3. Not allowed. Why? N is a natural number. Which means there is only one possibility. N is equal to 9. N plus 1 is equal to 10. The product is equal to 90. So, you can say product of these two even in, uh, these two consecutive numbers is 90. So, no, it is not greater than 92. Again, answer is there. Got it? Again, answer is there. This is a good question. And they are giving these kind of questions nowadays. Right? They are about 27 done. 28. 33. <coughs> I'll do it. I'll do that. Ah, it's a very good question. Wo, again, na, it's like, you know, are we the best questions are PYQs? They are amazing. PYQs, 
जो आए हुए हैं पेपर में दे आर फार बेटर देन दिस असाइनमेंट दैट इज द बेस्ट पार्ट चलो करते हैं uh, 28 हो गया गाइस आप uh, पीयूष 28 डॉक्टर हो गया 19 हाँ यार ये भी अच्छे 19 यस इज पी और क्यू और बोथ नेगेटिव फर्स्ट इज पी क्यू स्क्वेर इज पॉजिटिव पी क्यू स्क्वेर इज पॉजिटिव राइट इन दिस केस डेफिनेटली देखो यार क्यू स्क्वेयर तो हमेशा पॉजिटिव ही होता है राइट डेफिनेटली मीन्स पी इज पॉजिटिव बट Q कैन बी पॉजिटिव और Q कैन बी नेगेटिव एज वेल सो वी आर नॉट श्योर वट एग्जैक्टली इज इट हिस इज इज पी और Q और बोथ नेगेटिव नो पी इज नॉट नेगेटिव आंसर इज नो पी इज नॉट नेगेटिव बट वी कैनॉट टॉक अबाउट क्यू सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट गिविंग यू आंसर राइट सेकेंड पी क्यू इज नेगेटिव पी इन टू क्यू इज नेगेटिव इट वुड बी पी पॉजिटिव Q नेगेटिव और P नेगेटिव Q पॉजिटिव वी कैन नॉट से एनी थिंग इज एंड इट देन इफ आई कंबाइन दीज टू टूगेदर वेन आई कंबाइन दीज टू टूगेदर देन ऑल्सो आई एम नॉट गेटिंग एनी आंसर डू आई गेट एनी आंसर इफ आई गेट हाँ ओके अगर आप उन लोग कंबाइन कर देते हैं दोनों को सो P इज पॉजिटिव विच मीन्स दिस वुड बी कमिंग आउट Which means P is positive, Q is negative, P into Q is negative. So question क्या था? What is the question? Is P or Q or both negative? No. Three is the answer. Answer is three. No, this is a good question actually. It's a good question. अब अब सिंपल सी बात है ना कि वो बुक क्या पूछ रहा है इज आस्किंग इज पी और क्यू और बोथ नेगेटिव राइट नो पी इज नॉट नेगेटिव राइट बोथ आर और यू से बोथ आर नॉट नेगेटिव यार आंसर आ रहा है बोथ आर नॉट नेगेटिव ठीक है सो बोथ आर नॉट नेगेटिव इज गिविंग यू आंसर नो बोथ आर नॉट नेगेटिव मुझे भी यही लग रहा था यूर राइट यार तेरा बिल्कुल डाउट ठीक है नो दे आर नॉट ठीक है कि नहीं दैट्स योर आंसर ओके एंड इट्स अ गुड क्वेश्चन और इन इक्वालिटी पे क्वेश्चन दे रहा है वो राइट एक और एक दो और आ रहे हैं पीवे क्यूज में आए हैं पीवे क्यू में आए हुए हैं करके देखते हैं डोंट वरी ठीक है ट्वेंटी नाइन ट्वेंटी नाइन क्या आंसर है आर टॉम एंड हेरी ट्वेंस फोर But it is a good question to discuss. Anyone online? Let me check what people are doing online. I am thoroughly disappointed, guys. No, I want to do it. 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 and then you know it may happen that maybe they are twins that's the reason i want to give you that vision yaar theek hai suno i want to do it reason hai yaar dekho 29 first are tom and harry twins they have the same parents non twins also have the same parents but if they are twins same parents have to be there that's a important important requirement right so no this is not giving you answer राइट बट मे बी कॉम्बिनेशन में आ जाए इजेंट इट देन सेकेंड ही सेज द फादर एज इज फाइव टाइम टॉम्स एज द फादर एज इज फाइव टाइम टॉम्स एज हु इज ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्डर देन हैरी कॉमन है ना फादर इज ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्डर देन हैरी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट फादर फादर इज Five times the Tom's age, and who is twenty year older than Harry? So father is twenty year older than Harry, which means basically five t is equal to h plus twenty. Would they be twins? 
you cannot say because they don't have same parents. It is not mentioned over here, right? That's also important, na? Right? You may say, sir, Tom is equal to five, Harry is equal to five. देखो तरह ये solve हो रही है. They are of same age. But then it doesn't mean अगर तुम बोलते हैं सर Harry is equal to ten, then Tom is equal to six भी तो जा रहा है इसपे देखो. Because it's a linear equation, it has infinite number of solutions. Integral solutions ही बहुत ज़्यादा होंगे ठीक है कि नहीं? So no, this is not giving you answer. If I do one plus two, one information that is good is they have same parents, right? So there are people those who pick Tom equal to five, Harry equal to five and say yes, they are twins. No, they are still not twins. Because there is one more solution over here. अब लिख लो, ठीक है? They have to have same parents, यार, come on, है ना? But नहीं, comma है ना? Comma is what conjunction कहते हैं इसको? So is at length, at length I am Rishi Bhargava. Done my MSc math, so I am talking about myself only. Okay, so it's being talked about father only when comma has come, right? Though Ekta would be able to give you better things. My English is a little bit good, so I think being into Hindi medium school always works. You know something? Convent educated people generally do not have very good grammar. People with Hindi medium background have good grammar. The reason is that we used to do translation Hindi to English, so teachers used to focus on that. So grammar wise, verb, verb, and you know everything, we have better idea on that part because most of you would have done English in English, but we have done Hindi to English. And जो मर्जी कह लो, when you dream, you dream in your local language. <laughs> when you talk at home, you talk in your local language. So English would never be your mother tongue. Isn't it? Tell me something. Am I right? Isn't it? When you fight with your sibling, you don't, uh, you know, I am going to kill you. Aisa to nahi bolta hai na? Gala dawa dunga. Sibling rivalry is the best rivalry, you know that? It happens in your early teens and then, you know, siblings turn out to be the best friends also, right? I wish that it happens with all of you. Sibling turn out to be best friends afterwards. Vaise, uh, frankly, if you ask me, I am 44. So your parents turn out to be your best friends when they grow old. Because, you know, they turn uh, less volatile and <laughs> they turn kiddish. After 75, I am telling you. My dad calls me, you know, I used to be scared of my dad when I was young. Today he calls me, I feel like I am talking to my own child. And they fight. My parents fight a lot. They fight about, you know, quality of mobiles that they have. And then they fight about, there is a game. Oh, what is the block sorry game? Candy Crush. So there is, a, there is a competition going on between mommy and daddy. Both of them are above 8000 <laughs> levels, right? And if somebody moves two levels ahead, three levels ahead, so other guy, you are cheating somewhere. <laughs> चलो गैस कौन सा करना है बोलो 31 हैज कम इन योर पेपर 31 वाज इन योर एग्जाम 30th ओके 31 वाज इन योर एग्जाम्स गैस हैव यू डन 31 हो गया था बोथ स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिविंग यू आंसर बिकॉज़ आई थिंक व्हेन नंबर सिस्टम वाज डन आई हैड रिटन आई हैड मेड यू राइट दैट थिंग एंड आई एम रियली हैप्पी एंड प्राउड ऑफ दिस थिंग दैट द सेम क्वेश्चन हैज कम इन द पेपर so answer of 31 is 2. Both the statements are giving you answer. 30th, guys, have you tried 30th? What is the numerical value of P plus Q upon R plus S? Chalo, theek hai, karte hai. First is P upon R is equal to Q upon S. By rule of uh, ratios is equal to P plus Q upon R plus S. But value, we are not getting any value at all. Right, we are getting no value at all. Right, second, he says Q times 2s plus Q is equal to s square plus Q square, which means 2s Q 
प्लस के स्क्वेयर एज एक स्क्वेयर प्लस के स्क्वेयर कैंसल कैंसल राइट Which means two s q is equal to s square. Which means two q is equal to s. Which means q upon s is equal to one by two. So what is the numerical value p upon r is equal to q upon s is equal to one by two is equal to p plus q upon r upon s, which is equal to one by two. But again, first is this statement is only giving you q upon s, right? If you combine these two together, then you would get answer as one by two. Answer is three. Combining them together. Again, even I was making making that cynical mistake. I was only trying to do the two, but I realized I was using one. जिसको ये आ गया, तुम्हारा बेड़ा पार है पेपर में. And this is only class where I'll do two or three sessions on this. I won't be having time in the other classes to do three, four sessions. I cannot. That's the difference. I did numbers. I think I have done number seven, eight sessions. In the new batch, I have done three, four sessions because no time left. Then we have done testing also. We have done Zoom sessions also. Now it is complete kind of a package for you. And see how well you would be understanding because we have touched every topic. We have almost done every topic other than linear equation. I am linear equation kal karwa raha. I am going to do linear equation tomorrow. So only thing left with me would be probability, geometry, huh? Eh? Which one? Probability रहती है, वो रहती है यार, geometry रहती है, and then decision making रहती है, right? So ये तीन चार topic मेरे रहते हैं, I think current simple interest compound interest current sir करवा रहे हैं, and there are puzzles that he has touched. So after that it's like fantastic, right? But the new batch has come up, so अभी चल रहा है. If you really want to revise, all of you are invited. You don't have to pay anything. You can come in the new batch also and uh, revise any topic you want to revise. If you are smart, you would be attending five full length tests that I have given you. I am going to give it to you. Other than that, I am starting a test series very soon. So I'll let you know. I'm I have a team of people is sitting and making the test series. I am going to replicate past eleven years. के सारे क्वेश्चंस के साथ, I'm going to replicate the similar kind of papers. 20 papers I'm going to give and I promise you after that you don't need to worry. Huh? FLT, 80 questions each. Even I'm doing RCs also. All top, everything. Okay? And numbers and PNC probability questions would be made by me. Because I take pride on one thing. Though you know they are not into geometry, I am very good at geometry. My favorite topic is actually geometry. But they are not into geometry. Big time. They are into Pythagoras theorem only. So, wo main tumhe baut achche se kara dunga. Don't worry. Chicken. Chari. Next again. Yeah. Question number thirty-three is good, guys. Thirty-three. How many girls does a class have? So, there the total number of people in the class, boys plus girls, is equal to forty. Second, the product of boys and girls is Product of boys and girls is 300. So first is not giving you answer, second is not giving you answer. Individually, तो तुम girls नहीं बोल सकते हैं ना? But then if I combine them together, if you combine them together, most of you get an answer then because boys are 30, girls are 10. Generally, that's an Indian thinking because. Since childhood, we know that there are more number of boys, right? So if I solve them together, it gives you boys is equal to 30, girls is equal to 10, or girls, uh, sorry, girls is equal to 30, boys is equal to 10. Both solutions are available for these two statements. All right. So combining them together also answer won't come, right? So answer is four. But most of you would get answer as three because you think that number of girls would be less than number of boys. Multiple reasons. Since childhood, this is what we have seen. Until unless you don't go to uh, university and you have attended a course like economics, right, political science or psychology. I am English, so I am. I have done my MSc in maths. So in our department also. 50 seats for MSc maths, there were 42 girls and 8 guys. 
but adjacent to our department was psychology department so over there there were 120 seats in the 120 seats 116 women and four boys so after 3 4 months they had 121 people 116 women and four five boys reason I was attending psychology classes. <laughs> Women over there were beautiful. <laughs> I just loved it. Six, seven months, nobody knew that this is one extra guy who was attending psychology classes, <laughs> chilling around, sitting in the classes. <laughs> and over there in my MSc, proxy was going on. Great fun. The best question is 34. The answer given is wrong. <clears throat> 34. Answer is 2. What is your answer? Not 2, no? What is the answer? Dekho Guys, just check out. 34. I think 34 ka answer, what is the 34 answer given here? Answer is 1. Thik hai. Answer is 2. Is anyone getting answer as 2? 34. Have you done it? 34 karo yaar kindly. Shubham. 34 guys, come on. Dr. Shivani, what do you want to say? Are yaar, itna tension mat lo Shivani, don't worry. इतना सॉरी और ही नहीं बोलने का है। Kushbu, you have to attend that previous class, beta. 34 karo yaar, karke dikhao fir. Answer do. Four. And that is the reason I am doing these questions, right? 34, 34. It says, is product of a, B, C and D divisible by 24. So, is the multiplication A into B into C into D is a multiple of 24. This is the question. Is. I am a great advocate of what is the question in data sufficiency. Remember that. Let me check. First, the three of the numbers from A, B, C, D are 31, 32, 33. So, three number hai 31. 32, 33 and last number agar aap D maan lo, do you think it should be a multiple of 24? That is what he is asking. Then you see 31, 32 is what? 32 is 4 into 8, 33 is 3 into 11 into D. So don't you think 8 3 is a? So it is 24 times guys, 31 into 4 into 11 into D. Do you think it would be a multiple of 24? No. It depends upon D. He has not written that A, B, C, D are integers or natural numbers. If I say over here, if I say D is equal to 1 by 24, 24, 24 cancel. Ho gaya. Is it a multiple of 24? No. If D is equal to 1, then yes, it is a multiple of 24. So, it may be, may not be depending upon D. First is not giving you answer. That is the reason I said this is the beautiful question. Because 24 R I bar, so I think it would be a multiple of 24, but it is not mentioned A, B, C, D are natural numbers. Had it been mentioned, then I would say yes, it is a multiple of 24. But initial statement where it is not mentioned, then D can be a fraction also. Now clear hai? Right, second, second. A, B, C, D are consecutive numbers, guys. When he says consecutive numbers. It automatically comes out to be 1, 2, 3, 4. Fractions are never consecutive. So, consecutive numbers are used for natural numbers or for positive integers. 
all right remember that and now always remember product of four consecutive numbers is always a multiple of 24 second is giving you answer likhlo product of four natural four consecutive numbers is always a multiple of 24 sir how here come on you are intelligent suniye 24 kaise aata hai every fourth number is going to be a multiple of 4 every third number is going to be a multiple of 3 every second number is going to be a multiple of 2 2 into 3 into 4 khatam koi bhi utha lo randomly koi bhi pick kar lo tum mere se naraz ho jao chahe फिर भी मुझे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता सेवन इंटू एट इंटू नाइन इंटू टेन इज इट ए मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर यस इट इज देख लो वन इंटू टू इंटू थ्री इंटू फोर इज इट ए मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर यस कहीं से भी रैंडमली उठा लो सर नहीं आप थ्री से शुरू करो थ्री इंटू फोर इंटू फाइव इंटू सिक्स लो ट्वेंटी फोर का मल्टीपल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ फोर कॉन्जिकेटिव नेचुरल नंबर इज ऑलवेज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर so second is giving you answer first is not giving you answer answer is 1 29 30 31 32 aa jayega fir bhi zyada se zyada prime fix karne ki koshish karo try fixing a lot of primes hai na then you may think 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 nahi 5 into 6 into 7 into 8 nahi kyunki तीन कॉन्जिकेटिव प्राइम नंबर्स, थ्री फोर कॉन्जिकेटिव नंबर्स वोट हैव थ्री प्राइम नंबर्स एग्रीड और नॉट टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव इज द ओनली पेयर टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव उसके बाद नहीं मिलेगा तुम्हें ये पेयर हां बताओ भाई राइट राइट टू थ्री फोर फाइव और फोर कॉन्जिकेटिव नंबर हैविंग थ्री प्राइम्स टू थ्री एंड फाइव फिफ्थ थर्टी फिफ्थ What is the value of x if x and y are prime numbers? Here, it's been a scope. What is divisible by x y is something he should have mentioned. X y is a two-digit number, or x y over here is actually, a, uh, uh, you know, two-digit number or a multiple of x into y. ये गलती हमारी, right? Mark it. एक बार करण को भेज देना ये. बताऊँ और अच्छा कौन सा है? How long will that year ये हो जाएगा? How long? Three is answer. How long will two trains traveling in the same direction take to pass each other if the speed of one of the trains is thirty? So the sum of their speed is eighty. So second speed would be fifty, thirty, and fifty. So हो जाएगा ना? When you know it is exactly sum of the lengths of the two trains upon their relative speed. So ये हो जाएगा. Three is the answer. Wait, I'll tell you. क्वेश्चन फोर्टी सेवन क्वेश्चन फोर्टी सेवन हा दिस इज इट दैट माइट बी द रीजन तुम लोग स्ट्रगल कर रहा होगा इसमें है ना क्वेश्चन फोर्टी सेवन तो मैं करके दिखाऊ आ रेक्टेंगुलर शीट ऑफ लेंथ टेल इज टेन इज रोल्ड इन टू अलेंडर हा वट इज अ कर्व सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ सच सिलेंडर इधर देखो सब लोग The breadth of the sheet is फाइव देखिए ये है टेन सुनो सुनो इधर देखो ये है रेक्टेंगल सब लोग इधर देखो दिस इज टेन राइट ब्रेथ इज फाइव रेक्टेंगुलर शीट तो इसको रोल किया और बनाया सिलेंडर ये सिलेंडर है ये कर्व सर्फेस एरिया है Curved surface area of the cylinder, area of rectangle, right? So remember this part. So this can be easily sorted out. So question क्या था देखें? The breadth of the sheet is given to you. So definitely curved surface area 
इन दिस केस वुड इजिली बी इक्वल टू फर्स्ट से आंसर आ रहा है टेन इंटू फाइव फिफ्टी चाहे वो रेक्टेंगल सॉरी चाहे वो सिलेंडर इस तरह से बनाओ वन वे इज दिस वे मे यू मे फाइट विद बी ने सर वट अबाउट दिस दिस इज ऑल्सो सिलेंडर एग्रीड ब्रेथ फाइव देन ऑल्सो एरिया इज एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल लेंथ टेन दैट इज द रीजन आई से ज्योमेट्री इज रियली गुड लेंथ टेन इस पे बनाओ एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल तो लिख लीजिए अगर रेक्टेंगल से यू गेट अ सिलेंडर द एरिया ऑफ द सिलेंडर इज इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ द कर्व सर सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ द सिलेंडर क्लियर है एनी अदर क्वेश्चन दैट इज गुड ओवर हेयर क्वेश्चन फोर्टी टू यूपीएससी क्वेश्चन फोर्टी टू Now that is the reason I think the knowledge of geometry is prime. Knowledge of geometry is prime. Let's see. He says the base of the triangle is eight. The base of the triangle is eight. One of the sides is six, right? So he is asking you about is forty-two, na? What is the area of the triangle? The altitude is five. Would it give you area of the triangle? Altitude is five. Okay, half base into height. Altitude is height, but then there are three altitudes. He hasn't said altitude does not mean altitude to the base. This is one altitude. This is second altitude. This is third altitude. Now one good thing is all of you have improved so much that now you have that feeling. नहीं ये गलत हो सकता है. so which altitude is not mentioned so first won't give us an answer first won't give us an answer right and then second he says median to the base is 5.5 isse answer aa jayega median to the base kaise medium to perpendicular nahi hoti altitude perpendicular hoti hai now all median to the base now this is important dekho this is 6 this is 8 median to the base is 5.5 median is this which divides the opposite side into two equal parts would it give us the answer yes remember likho median divides a triangle into two equal parts right now you have a triangle with 6 4 and 5.5 using theron's formula we can find area of this triangle and whatever is the area of this triangle would be the area of this triangle because median divides triangle into two equal areas right which means this would give you answer so second day is giving you answer note it down pehla cheez median divides a triangle into two equal areas see the depth they are into एक ट्रायंगल का एरिया तो यू वुड गेट मेंस देयर आर थ्री साइड्स गिवन बाय हीरोन्स फार्मूला इफ देयर आर थ्री साइड्स ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल यू कैन इजीली फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द ट्रायंगल सो आई डोंट नीड टू फाइंड ना सिंपल यू नो इट वी डोंट नीड टू फाइंड इट वी नो दैट एरिया ऑफ दिस ट्रायंगल कैन बी इजीली फाउंड सो इट वुड बी इक्वल टू दिस सो एरिया ऑफ ट्रायंगल वुड ऑटोमेटिकली कम बुदोनो ऑपोजिट साइड इक्वली एंड The property of the median is that it divides a triangle into two equal areas. ज़रूरत ही नहीं. Whatever is the area of this would be area of this. कतम. You don't need to. Why do you want to do it? Area is same. कतम. जागो, जागो, जागो. सुबह हो गई. खुशबू फोर्टी फिफ्थ हम्म द रेडियस ऑफ द सर्कल इज सिक्स पॉइंट फोर वट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द कॉर्ड वट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द कॉर्ड सो द लेंथ ऑफ द परपेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम सेंटर टू द कॉर्ड इज सो 
this is given to you let this is a chord suppose a b is a chord so length of the perpendicular from center he says the length of perpendicular to the center to the chord is 4 cm so this is 4 cm hai na question is length of the chord now now if you go to circles the perpendicular from the center divides the chord into two equal parts so this is equal to this and ye kitna hai 6.4 what is this 6.4 so by pythagoras theorem agar ye 4 hai piyush ye 6.4 hai to ye bhi aa jayega ye aa jayega to ye bhi aa jayega first is giving you answer i don't need to find anything first is giving you answer i don't need to find anything right i know answer would come right second he says the measure of the sector in which the chord is located is 60 so dekho ye raha ye 60 hai piyush ye equal to ye to ye bhi 60 ye bhi 60 6.4 6.4 6.4 second is also giving you answer answer is 2 वो क्वेश्चन ही इस तरह फ्रेमिंग होते हैं कि तुम लोग मिक्स कर देते हो अब ठीक है हा कॉड कॉड इन इन सर्कल अलाइन कटिंग द सर्कल इसको अपन लोग क्या बोलते हैं सीकेंट सीकेंट राइट और कॉड क्या होती है अलाइन इनसाइड एंड टचिंग दिस इज कॉड वो है सीकेंड ये है कॉर्ड वैसे कर रहे हैं हम लोगों ने डोंट वरी वी हैव टू डू इट इन ज्योमेट्री अभिनव करेंगे करेंगे अभी क्या जल्दी तो नहीं है परपेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम द सेंटर यू कैन राइट डाउन इफ डिवाइड द कॉर्ड इनटू टू इक्वल पार्ट्स you can note it if you want to note done guys okay second statement he says this angle is 60 and this is radius this is radius to ye bhi barabar ye bhi 60 60 it's an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle hai to definitely all sides are equal to 6.4 so length of the chord is 6.4 clear now let's talk about pyqs oof here comes the king I would send you this uh, PPT also. I shall I send it to you? Wait. Let me send it to you. Hmm. Well, I have to send it. Sorry. I sent someone else. <laughs> I'm getting old day by day. One day when you become IS, IPS officer, huh? I would be taking a sabbatical. Yaar. Wait, wait, guys, I'm sending you this assignment. Wait. Yeah, stop talking, yaar. I'm getting confused. Yes, I got it. So I have sent it to you on Telegram channel, guys. PYQ assignment. Okay, let's do it. He says, consider the question and the, uh, consider the question and the statement given below. Question is, is x an integer? Question kya hai? Dego, is x an integer? Is x an integer? X by three is not an integer. X by three is not an integer. 
does that mean x is an integer maybe may not be x by 3 dekho x is an integer right is x an integer x by 3 is not an integer right which means uh, 4 by 3 is not an integer right sir but 4 is an integer possible possible isn't it it is possible hai na but again counter that is the beauty of upsc right counter counter is 1 by 9 comes out to be 1 by 3 upon 3 1 by 3 upon 3 is not an integer and 1 by 3 is also not an integer so first gives you yes and no first is not the right choice clear second 3x is an integer dekho yaar if 3x is an integer x may be an integer non integer yaar 3x is an integer so 3x is an integer so 3 into 3 is an integer so x is an integer but then 3 into 1 by 3 equal to 1 is also an integer 1 by 3 is non integer so second again is not giving you answer upsc is beautiful right and combining them also you cannot say x is an integer or non integer answer is 4 both statement 1 and statement 2 are not sufficient to answer the question look same kind of questions we have done in the assignment also and that is where i feel a lot of students those who have cleared upsc c said with us should come up and tell boss it is really important see the level of question well otherwise if you have not done data sufficiency can you attempt this question you cannot you cannot shall we proceed guys hai to ppt da ha lo कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग तुम्हें किया हुआ है क्या पहले हैव यू डन इट अभी देखते ही आंसर अच्छा ओके यू हैव दैट सेंड सॉरी इज दी ब्रदर ऑफ एक्स एक्स इज ब्रदर ऑफ वाई एंड वाई इज ब्रदर ऑफ जी बट जी कैन बी फीमेल एज वेल दिस इज ब्यूटिफुल इज जी a brother of x right pehla cheez to z x is a brother of y and y is a brother of z doesn't mean that z is a brother of x because now z can also be female it's possible but we cannot say anything because second statement is not mentioned x y and z are siblings see it's important you cannot say this right brother means what do you mean by brother it might be cousin or something right so i think sibling was important actually what do you say so combining also you would have a problem right agar tum sirf second statement dekhte ho x y and z are siblings doesn't mean that x z uh, is a brother of x z can be a sister of x also and combining them together also we don't know whether z is a male or a female so i think answer is again four लो अब तीन आ गई नहीं दो ही हैं तीन भी आएंगे देर वुड बी थ्री वाला ऑल्सो करो करो कैंडी ट्राइट कंसिडर द क्वेश्चन एंड द टू स्टेटमेंट्स गिवन बिलो इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ द थ्री सिटीज पी क्यू एंड आर इन अ स्टेट हाउ फार इज पी Our uh, city P from city Q. City Q is 18 kilometers from R. City P is 43 kilometers from our city R. You don't know the directions of these cities. <laughs> Now you cannot draw a straight line, right? You say, sir, city Q is 18 from city R. So look, Q is 18 from R. But the question is. Question is how far is P from Q? So first is not giving you answer. Then I check second. 
सिटी uh, पी एज फोर्टी थ्री फ्रॉम आर सो सिटी पी एज फोर्टी थ्री फ्रॉम आर दैट ऑल्सो यू नो वी कैन नॉट गेट अ डिस्टेंस बिटवीन पी एंड क्यू कंबाइनिंग दैम टूगेदर इट सेज कंबाइनिंग दैम टूगेदर दिस इज गिवन टू यू दिस इज एटीन एंड दिस इज फोर्टी थ्री बट देन हाउ कैन वी फाइंड डिस्टेंस बिटवीन पी एंड क्यू वेन वी डोंट नो दिस एंगल we don't know where is the direction of p from r and q from r so if you draw the straight line then it is easy 43 plus 18 but it is not mentioned that they are in a collinear state so likh lijiye the directions of the cities are not given to you now you would find p y q to be easy let 2023 come abhi aa raha hai yaar bombast hai na 2023 i am telling you i was like shocked that this is what they can give जो कॉन्सेप्ट हमने कराए हुए वेइंग स्केल कॉन्सेप्ट पेपर में था स्टोन्स वाला कॉन्सेप्ट पेपर में था अभी करते हैं डोंट वरी सो दिस इज आई थिंक 2019 और मे बी सर ने बोला था ये 22 के हैं 22 के हैं ये ये 22 के शेल वी गो राहुल मूव फॉरवर्ड नॉट गो राहुल यू शुड बी गुड एट इट यार हा यू डिड नॉट अटेम्प्ट इट किया था Why are you udas? All good. That thing is not working. Girlfriend, wife, huh? Manjot, where are you? We are not happy that you are not coming. Chal next day ke jaaye. Ye dekho yar guys. Oof. Yar ye to data sufficiency hai hi nahi hai chhodo. Main nahi kar raha. ये करो <laughs> हो ये इस साल का है 22 है ये भी करो सिक्स पीपल ए बी सी डी ई एफ आर फिटिंग इक्वी डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ईच अदर अराउंड अ सर्कुलर टेबल फेसिंग द सेंटर कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट हु इज सिटिंग इमीडिएट हु इज सिटिंग ऑन द इमीडिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ ए इमीडिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ ए करके देखो सब अलग अलग करोगे ना पहले सिक्स पीपल आर देयर नवनीत कम ऑन बट इट इज नॉट गिवन ना कि ये सारे इक्विडिस्टेंट हैं बट सेम ऑर्डर में नहीं बैठे हैं मतलब सर्कल में बैठे हैं बट दे आर नॉट ऑन द सेम ऑर्डर यार कम ऑन आई थिंक वो पोजिशन नहीं समझ में आएगी है ना दोनों तरफ वो हो सकता है राइट दो पोजिशन जा देंगे इस तरफ वाली ये सी और डी वाला जो है ना जो आई थिंक पहले तो इंडिविजुअली तो नहीं हो सकता सॉरी इंडिविजुअली तो इट इज नॉट वर्किंग आउट है ना इंडिविजुअली फर्स्ट इज नॉट गिविंग यू आंसर सेकेंड सॉरी Individually, first is not giving you answer, right? Individually, F is sitting immediate next of B. इससे तो A का कुछ नहीं बनेगा. Now the problem comes out to be when you combine them together, right? Who is sitting left? In that case, B sits opposite to C and D sits opposite to E. ठीक है. इसको बना लो, right? And F is sitting immediately left to B. तो वो भी बन जाएगा. But problem इनकी है. ये B और C जो है ना, ये D और E. तुमने एक हाफ में बनाया वो. इस तरह से भी शफल हो सकते इन दैट केस आंसर वुड चेंज ठीक है सो आंसर इज अगेन फोर नहीं पर उसने बहुत अच्छी चीज दे रखी है एफ इज सिटिंग इमीडिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ बी एफ का उसने बहुत अच्छा दे रखा है एक्चुअली विच सिग्निफाइज ठीक है ना इट एज इट कैन इजिली बी सॉर्टेड आउट बी और सी सिट टूगेदर ऑपोजिट है ठीक है एफ के एफ इज सिटिंग इमीडिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ बी तो बी के इमीडिएट लेफ्ट पे एफ बैठा है सी उसके सामने बैठा है पर प्रॉब्लम ये है कि वो शफल भी हो सकता है हो जाएगा दो कंसिडर द क्वेश्चन एंड द स्टेटमेंट गिवन बिलो व्हाट इज द एज ऑफ मानिशा मानिशा 
is 24 years younger manisha sorry manisha not manisha right manisha is a very famous uh, character in some serial hai na yeah manisha abhinav padhoge likhoge hoge kharab kheloge kudoge banoge nawab सी लिख के देख लो आई थिंक यू डोंट एक्चुअली इन यूपीएससी ना इफ यू आर सॉर्टेड यू एक्चुअली डोंट नीड टू राइट मच फर्स्ट इज आई इज वट इज एज ऑफ मनीषा मनीषा इज ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर यंगर देन और मदर वी कैन नॉट गेट एन आंसर फ्रॉम फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज मदर एज इज नॉट गिवन टू यू सेकेंड इज इज फाइव ईयर्स लेटर द एज ऑफ मनीषा एंड मदर वुड बी इन द रेशो ऑफ थ्री इज टू फाइव बट सिंस you know uh, right now manisha's age is not given to you so second again is not possible if i combine them together definitely i'm going to get the answer right because manisha and mother ka relation pehli statement se aa jayega five year ago wala relation hai so definitely there are two statements two equations you would easily get an answer aur main karke dikha do let the age of aise tum bologe ki sir kuch kar hi nahi rahe let the age of manisha be x age of mother be y so uh x uh, manisha is 25 years younger so y is equal to x plus 24 first but it is not going to give you answer uh he says question kya tha what is the age of manisha i want x pehle se nahi aayega right second bolta hai uh, five years later ages of manisha and her mother would be in the ratio of uh right right now agar age hai if today's age of manisha is x mother is y five years later it is x plus 5 y plus 5 in that case uh, ratio is x plus 5 upon y plus 5 would actually be 3 is to 5 but again when i am seeing second i ignore first so ye ek relationship again x or y mein hai this won't give you an answer this is a single equation if i combine them together so first statement not giving you answer second alone not giving you answer when i combine them together then you can put y ka value over here either so x would come if x would come your answer would come so definitely 3 which is combining so i can if you say i can solve it x plus 5 yaar ye bhi karke dekh lo bhai x plus 29 is equal to 3 by 5 5x plus 25 it is upsc 3x plus this is 87 which means 2x is equal to 87 minus 25 aa jayega answer 464 hai na 32 32 ये 64 हो ये हाँ सिक्सटी टू हो जाएगा ये x इज इक्वल टू थर्टी वन सो प्रेजेंट एज ऑफ मनीषा इज थर्टी वन क्लियर है आई होप नाउ दिस इज गुड बिकॉज इट इज इक्वेशन ऑल्सो सो बेटर क्या अच्छा ओके यू राइट इट पानी में इतनी खुशी मिल रही है तेरे को कर रहा हूं उसको कर लेने दे खुशबू इज राइटिंग कैसे एकदम हैप्पी गर्ल ओके गुड इफ यू आर मिसिंग वन क्लास ना खुशबू Remember to you know, and you are planning the next class. Go through the first class because generally my classes are in continuation, so it's better you know do it this way. There is no point attending today's class if you haven't attended yesterday's class because yesterday everyone was struggling. Now you see the real result of struggle. Now you see what do you say of this? Oof! Again, twenty twenty two, huh? Six lecturers. No. पीपल यूज टू से ना कि सर हम रीजनिंग कर लेंगे बोलता करके दिखाओ लो साथ में दे रहा हूं मैं स्टेटमेंट अब करके देखो आठ से दो बजे के बीच में डेफिनेटली सिक्स आवर्स का स्लॉट तो बन ही गया है ना 
डी नहीं बन रहा कुछ देर इज नो लेक्चर आफ्टर बी विच मीन बी इज द लास्ट वन आई थिंक है ना हाँ देर शुड हैव बीन सम इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट ई तो क्वेश्चन मजेदार बन जाता है ना ही बी इज द एंडिंग वन सो पहली चीज क्या है कंसिडर द क्वेश्चन क्या है विच लेक्चर इज द थर्ड पीरियड सो फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ सिक्स दिस इज बी ही सेज ना देर इज नो लेक्चर देखो पहले तो कंबाइन तो करना ही पड़ेगा we have to combine it right so individually not giving me answer individually not giving me answer that is something now you have to understand i combine it so i got last lecture is b then he says f is preceded by a followed by c so followed by c so ye ikatha ek slot banna hai right ye teen ka ek slot banna hai now ye teen ka ek slot if this is over here a f c right A F C. In that case, definitely third is A. But if it is A F C over here, in that case, third is F. And then if I say A F C, so third is C also, because he hasn't given anything to B do with D and E. Had he given some information about B and D, it could have been a very good question, right? So answer is four. Not sufficient. Even combining these two statement, it is not sufficient, right? Shall I raise this? Guys, now don't take it as genuine. The answer to four will come, huh? That you say, Jai Mata Di, Ya Allah, huh? Jai Hanuman, <laughs> right? Huh? So, be Bhagwan pe vishwas rakho, but Bhagwan God has a lot of other issues to solve, <laughs> right? So, ye bhi Bhagwan pe vishwas rakho ki God should be working upon those issues rather than you people, you know. Do not give up. One of my very good students, very good friends, he gave up, and uh, he committed something really bad. Do not give up, right? It's okay. Except one thing, you know, it's okay to be not to be successful. Success has nothing to do with your, you know, lal bhatti or the power or the money. Success is really quantum. So, not giving up is the best success I feel. The best thing is, you know, don't give up. People would actually bother you. People would question you. People would question your decisions. People would actually talk behind you. That's genuine. Everyone does that. We also do that sometimes, right? Isn't it? It's fun. In the families, me when it happens, I think it's more of fun. That's the reason families stay together because they keep on cribbing and you know nudging each other. Right? That is how we live. be happy about it that you have a family and you have a very big extended family and they keep on nudging you it's not that they don't want you to be successful it's more of that you know that is what your family might have done to them <laughs> everyone does that to everyone else hai right? na and it comes back so remember my words it's really important not to give and what is success not giving up is the only success Had it been that somebody has earned millions of rupees and dollars, that would have been success. People would have taken retirement. So many of the people would have taken retirement. Nobody is retiring. It never ends. It only ends once. That is when you <laughs> reduce yourself by when you are reduced by hundred percent. Remember that, okay? It the stress ni lena life me. Tikalo, bata. Ah, again, I think twenty twenty two. Nine questions are there. I still remember. And success rate in this paper was thirty-two percent. People were successful in this paper. This was the easy paper. Though I found twenty twenty-two also was a challenging paper. Four ranks. Ah. If I am rank two, you are rank six, four ranks below. Was that it? Fourth year, basically draw कर ले ना. Priya is rank four ranks.
the question itself is beautiful right read the question what is seema's rank from the top in a class of 40 students now she has made that comment 40 students ki class hai. Hey, AR online students, you are near. Where are you, Aman? Uh, either statement one alone or statement two alone is sufficient. Both statement are required, guys. Both statements are required. No, statement one is giving you answer because Seema, what is Seema's rank from the top in the? Ye, ye de diya na. There are forty students. Now it is easy. Now it is very easy. There are 40 students. I, I can easily sort it out now. You see, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And keep on doing like 40. Answer there is given. First is giving you answer. Priya is 4 ranks below Seema and is 31st from the bottom. Priya is 31st from the bottom. Right. All you needed to do was make. 40 places, 30, he says 31st from the bottom. So, here is the position of 31st, right? It could have been easily done. 40 students, I have total 40 places. If I make a total, first statement would definitely and definitely would give me Seema's rank. You want me to draw? I can draw it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Look. Kya bolta hai? Priya is 4 ranks below Seema and is 31st from the bottom. Ab suno 31st from the bottom front se kitna hoga? Karan sir ne bataya hoga tumhe 40 minus 31 plus 1. 10th from the front a jayega hai na? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is Priya. Right, and uh, Priya is four ranks below Seema. So, four ranks below Seema. So, uh, four ranks below Seema, so here is Seema. Right, so what is Seema's rank from the top? Apne ap gaya. First, se bhi hai, second, se bhi hai. why? Because he had mentioned a class of 40 students. Had it not been mentioned, then we could have required both the statement to solve. Right, since there are total 40 students, statement one would also give you answer, statement two would also give you answer. Answer is C. Either statement 1 alone or statement 2 alone is sufficient to answer these questions. So, this is a dream broken by UPSC for past 2-3 years because people said, we will reasoning to kar lenge. So, they have to mixing karni shuru karti. And once there is a mixing of statements, see, you make mistakes. You, you would have that tendency to make mistakes. Alright. Otherwise, if this is just so question, hota na, Statement na deta, tum bade raami se question kar lete. So if you see 2016, 2017 paper, those were the questions. Questions are same, but this is something new they have introduced. Like they have introduced in GS. GS last year they have introduced a fantastic funder because whole 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh hours of videos on GS was elimination. So they eliminated elimination. But nobody weeps about it. Everyone weeps, weeps about only one thing, see sat. Right. Go ask those one lakh hours those people have put in and ask them, boss, where is your elimination method? Who is going to get sacrificed? Everyone is weeping out. See, you said should be sacrificed. Why? Because you don't want to have brain in your life. Simple as it is. Put it on YouTube. Right. Then it becomes difficult. Then we have to think about something else. We नहीं बनता, नहीं बने। Number of students होना बहुत जरूरी, ठीक है? It is not an unsolvable paper, यार। It's a paper that requires preparation and it is a paper that requires two hours of great timing। फिर होगा ये 30 question का paper। और मेरे हिसाब से यार 80 में से अगर आप 30 नहीं कर पा रहे हो, ठीक है? फिर आपको timing नहीं आती है। क्योंकि तुम ये लगा के चलो 80 में से 40 करने हैं ठीक है 40 क्वेश्चंस और 2 आवर्स सो 2 आवर्स इज 120 सो वन क्वेश्चन इज 3 मिनट्स 
there would be questions that you would be able to do it in a less than a minute there were questions last year also there were 10 10 12 questions so you are left with 30 good questions and good you know 110 or 100 minutes right which means you can easily spend 3 3 and a half minutes per question which is genuinely easier and reading comprehension was actually for me because ekta had sorted out that paper when the paper came she had done out of 25 22 correct right which is genuinely good till the time upsc key doesn't come right but i sincerely believe you know she is satik on one part do not go out of the paragraph it would actually work in your favor all right chali next again hmm <clears throat> guys I don't think this is 2022, now it is 2019 or maybe 2022 last question. Each of A and D is heavier than each of B, E and F, but none of them is the heaviest question. Oh, कैसे मुझे खुद नहीं समझ में आ रहा which among them is the heaviest A B C D E अच्छा A B C D E A and D is यार ये क्वेश्चन पूरा नहीं है ना which one is heaviest amongst A B C D E F होना चाहिए साथ में E and F now it works because I was not able to understand let's see he says first statement each of a and d is heavier so a is heavier than b a is heavier than e a is heavier than f right and similarly d is also heavier than b d is also heavier than e d is also heavier than f now none of them is heaviest None of them is heaviest, but the A or D heaviest hai nahi hai. So, pehli se answer aato raha C is heaviest. A and D both are heavier than B, E and F, but none of them is heaviest. So, A is not heaviest, D is not heaviest, and baaki saare to unse weight mein kam hi hai, to bacha kya C? So, C is the heaviest. None of them is heaviest, which means listen, listen, okay, you say that A and A minute, A minute, A minute, wait, A and D is heavier, wait, 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 A and D is heavier than each of them, but none of them is, none of them means in dono mein se koi bhi heaviest nahi hai, par ye in se heavy hai, ye in se heavy hai, par ye heaviest nahi hai, phir bacha koon sa heavy, C, that's it. Answer first se aara. None of them is A and D ki baat kar hai beta. Do ki baat hi ho rahi na A or D ki. Sancho ki nahi kar raha hai. Come on. Come on. But none of them is heaviest. None of them. Right. None of them is heaviest means A and D ki baat kar raha hai wo. A or D ke context mein start hui hai. But none of them is the heaviest. So definitely C is heaviest. <laughs> I am right. Bilkul theek bol raha hai. Right. Next. A is heavier than D, but lighter than C. Dekho, isse hume kuch nahi pata chalta, kyunki I am seeing the second statement. I ignore the first statement. Because you wanted to combine them. It was your wish. Right. Again, this is actually encouraging you to combine these two statements and give answer as, Sir, dono ko combine karke answer a. Thik hai? No, answer is first statement say answer automatically I hai. Second statement A is heavier than D, lighter than C, but we do not know anything about B, E, and F. So second is not giving you answer. When we see second statement, we forget first. Rahul's rule. Simple. Take it. Chalega. See, you know, when I talk about these rules, I always use the name of a man. You say that India is a country where males and females walk shoulder to shoulder, but I cannot use any female's name over here. 
इट वुड बी ऑफेंडेड राहुल इज नॉट ऑफेंडेड नो वन इज ऑफेंडेड वी ऑल आर हैप्पी है ना इफ सेम इज इफ आई टेक अमेल नेम देन इट वुड बी ऑफेंस ऑफ बिगेस्ट काइंड ऑफ अ क्राइम हाँ I would be categorized into something, huh? Huh? <laughs> so remember, men also struggle, right? <laughs> But they are happy, huh? Anyhow, guys, this was a classy question, right? Chali. Kar ke dekho, bhai. Ye to main bhi thak chuka hu. फिर से लार्जेस्ट डोंट टेक इट कि हमने किया हुआ है तुम्हारा आंसर गलत हो सकता है एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी बिकॉज टू सेशंस वर रिक्वायर्ड Aman, good yar. Thank God you guys are sitting. मेरे को अब तो मैंने पढ़ना भी नहीं है. You can understand how many questions I have solved. Right? <laughs> मैं अभी पढ़ूँगा अभी करूँगा. वो था required. पर यार ये देख रहे हो एक तीन वाला भी आएगा अभी. देखें S N N S N O P N Q N R पी क्यू आर एस ठीक है फोर फोर मेंबर्स पी क्यू आर एस क्वेश्चन क्या है अमंग फोर पी क्यू आर एस विच वन इज द लार्जेस्ट राइट फर्स्ट इज गाइस लार्जेस्ट यार फोर मेंबर्स में लार्जेस्ट ओल्डेस्ट होना चाहिए था है ना एनी आर इज ग्रेटर देन ओके मेंबर्स नहीं होना चाहिए फ्यू फोर नंबर होना चाहिए थे है ना फोर नंबर होना चाहिए वेट एनी ऑफ आर इज ग्रेटर देन पी आर इज ग्रेटर देन क्यू बट वी डोंट नो द पोजिशन ऑफ एस इन फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट वी डोंट नो द पोजिशन ऑफ एस सो फर्स्ट इज नॉट सफिशियंट टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन एस इज नॉट द लार्जेस्ट वन राइट एग्रीड एस इज नॉट द लार्जेस्ट वन then out of p q and r we don't know which one is the largest one so second se bhi alone nahi ho raha then i combine them when i combine them s is not the largest one agreed r is greater than p r is greater than q and s is not the largest one which means what is the largest one r is the largest one isn't it so question was a uh, question was what which among them is largest definitely combining them together s1 and s2 together are sufficient answer is c c options bhi hamare wali chal rahi hai isme okay so my assignment uh, this uh, data sufficiency assignment of mine was not too much reasoning concentric they have reasoning concentric so it's good to do pyqs right yeah hmm jab tum statement 2 dekhte ho statement 1 bhul jate ho na to fir p aur q aur r bhi to hai na kaun sa largest hai now you don't see statement 1 right tere ko char number diye p q r s bolta hai s is the largest one s is not the largest one then which is the largest one is it p or q or r because You are seeing second statement. You forget the first statement. Problem is that you are thinking about the first statement. Rahul's rule. Remember that. Okay. Rahul's rule. Remember that. Okay. Ye aa gaya teen wala nahi abhi bhi nahi aaya. Okay. Okay. Let's wait. ये ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन शुरू हो गए क्वेश्चन पढ़ो पहले इफ एन इज अनिक नंबर लाइंग बिटवीन टेन टू ट्वेंटी
he says what is what then what is n statements when says n is a prime number n is a prime number dekho mai i'll go by this theek hai i'll go by the rules okay <laughs> the classic case of mathi ku <laughs> it's okay don't worry so no uh unique natural number lying between between 10 to 20 first is you know between 10 to 20 he says n is a prime number so 11 11 bhi hai 13 bhi hai 17 bhi hai 19 bhi hai so first is not giving you unique answer right second he says uh n leaves a remainder 1 when divided by 4 n leaves a remainder 1 when divided by 4 it can be 13 it can be 17 no there is this is not a unique answer combining them together 13 17 again it cannot be solved answer is d two answers are coming 13 and This is like what children do when they are right and their no parents are wrong. <laughs> That is what my daughter does to me a lot of time. It's it's right, it's right, 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 right. <laughs> Come on, ये वो सही नहीं आ गया boys and girls वाला question. but this is what are two numbers he is not asking about what are the number of girls see right this is beautiful question actually he is he is not saying he says uh, question is what are the two numbers right what are the two numbers question is what are two numbers their product is 21 and their sum is 10 the two numbers and 3 and 7 or 7 and 3 one of the same things <laughs> right so alone alone is not working alone alone is not working combine i got the two numbers as 3 and 7 now there was a lot of fight answer is d sir because sir but he hasn't asked one of the numbers had he asked what is one of the numbers then it could have been a problem it can be 7 also or 3 also but he says what are those two numbers aise do numbers kaun se hain so in that case the product is 21 their sum is 10 definitely those two numbers are 3 and 7 answer is c फिर फिर हम बोलते हैं वही बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स वाला फिर डी हो जाता सी क्वेश्चन सर सेम अब द इश्यू इज यू नो इफ यू डू अ क्रैश कोर्स यू क्रैश वी वी हैव डन क्रैश कोर्सेज एवरी ईयर वो मार्च में शुरू होता है यू नो व्हाट वी डिड क्रैश कोर्स लास्ट ईयर वी डिड बट यू वॉन्ट फिफ्टी आवर्स में ये सब नॉट पॉसिबल यू हैव टू स्पेंड टाइम ना Now you understand कि यार हाँ ये डेप्थ है दिस इज दिस इज वट दिस गाय मीन्स टू से और क्रैश कोर्स फिफ्टी आवर्स में लाइन लास्ट ईयर आई कुड नॉट डू अलॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स यार कुड नॉट टच तो करते क्या यार मुझे बताओ ना इट्स लाइक नॉट फेयर टू यू बट टेल मी वट इज वट इज द सोल्यूशन ये दिस इज समथिंग आई डू All numbers are divisible by two. Which of the above conclusion logically follow from the given two statements? First conclusion is all numbers. First statement is all numbers are divisible by two. All numbers are divisible by three. Conclusion is all numbers are divisible by six. A only conclusion one follow. All numbers are divisible by four cannot be possibility, right? Because they are divisible by two and three. So oh, A this this is right. no statement 3 this is a beauty this is what i was waiting for 
थ्री स्टेटमेंट बट देन इफ देर आर थ्री स्टेटमेंट ना क्वेश्चन वुड बी इजी बिकॉज ऑप्शन तो चार ही देने उसने गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो इट वुड बी इजी टू सॉल्व Very good, Kavana. Very good, Aman. Thank you, Jibita. मुझे नहीं पता आंसर क्या है. Both में कौन सा आंसर है? S one, S two भी है, S two, S three भी है, S one, S three भी है. देखे. But I am really interested in option number A, S one alone. <laughs> देख लो देखो 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 तो चलो एक मिनट एक मिनट वेट 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 गाइस विच अमंग ए बी सी डी इज यंगेस्ट मेरे को ना सी आई बीन डूइंग सो मेनी क्वेश्चन आई एम जेनुअनली मार्किंग माई क्वेश्चन जेनुअनली वन थिंग आई एम वेरी गुड एट इज मार्किंग माई क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑल्सो पेपर में क्वेश्चन को मार्क करो क्वेश्चन क्या बोल रहे हैं हु इज द यंगेस्ट राइट फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट सी इज यंगर देन डी सी इज यंगर then d but older than a and b right older than a and b so now we don't know who is the youngest because a if he is older than a and then b comes then b is youngest or a is youngest apne ko pehli statement se to nahi pata chal raha ek minute wait main nahi dekh raha tumhe pata hai hamesha galti hoti second alone to hai hi nahi see सेकेंड लोन तो है ही नहीं अपने पास चॉइस नहीं है क्योंकि देखो उसके बाद S1, S2, S2, S3, S1, S3 आ गया तो मैं अलोन अलोन देख नहीं रहा मैं बोल रहा हूं S1 एंड S2, S2 टू डी इज ओल्डेस्ट उससे भी कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा ठीक है सो S1 वन एंड एस टू ऑल्सो कैंसल ऑफ D इज ओल्डेस्ट है ना देन कम्स S2 टू एंड एस थ्री डी इज ओल्डेस्ट ए इज ओल्डर देन बी आई थिंक एस वन एंड एस थ्री है ना The D is the answer. S one and S three because उससे वो आ रहा है. D is the oldest. C is younger than D. A और B का फंडा था. तो I think S three A is older than B. So definitely B is the youngest. I think S one and S three are giving you answer. Clear? So three statement आ जाए तो डरना नहीं है. It's easy. But remember they have given you something. Do not ignore it. Oh, ये तो इजी है द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ अ स्क्वायर एंड अ सर्कल इज टू द मैक्सिमम पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ अ स्क्वायर एंड अ सर्कल इज एट क्या आंसर होगा विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू हम्म मैक्सिमम पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन कितना हो सकता है क्यों मिनिमम पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ अ सर्कल एंड स्क्वायर आर जीरो नहीं भी कर सकते राइट ओनली टू मिनिमम क्या मतलब वट यू मीन तुम अपनी मर्जी थोड़े ना चलाओ हाँ 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 है, है. कुछ नहीं क्या बोलना क्यों इंटरसेक्शन हो रहे हैं दोनों के क्यों बोलना जब मैं ड्रॉ कर सकता हूं तो हो सकता है क्यों नहीं हो सकता इट्स पॉसिबल मिनिमम का इश्यू है हाउ डू यू से मिनिमम एस टू बिकॉज यू ट्राइंग टू इंटरसेक्ट दम ना सिर्फ उनकी मर्जी वो इंटरसेक्ट ही ना करे मिनिमम इज जीरो समझे ये है यूपीएससी <laughs> ये बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन
मिनिमम पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन बिटवीन अ स्क्वायर एंड अ सर्कल इज जीरो दे डोंट टच ईच अदर हाँ तो तो भी जीरो तो है ना फिर मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन बिटवीन टू लाइन इज जीरो बिकॉज दे डोंट इंटरसेक्ट मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन बिटवीन टू लाइन इज वट वन मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन बिटवीन पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन बिटवीन टू लाइन इज जीरो दे डोंट इंटरसेक्ट तो मिनिमम इज देयर ना यार so geeta zibita aman and kavana <laughs> right i know you got it now what about this question kya any two consecutive floors have different color four paints hain and five floors hain ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी का क्वेश्चन है या बट देन यू नो अ फाइव स्टोरी बिल्डिंग है वन टू फाइव इज पेंटेड विथ फोर डिफरेंट कलर्स देर आर फोर डिफरेंट कलर्स एंड फाइव फ्लोर आर टू बी पेंटेड ठीक है सो इसे इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग इंश्योर टू इंश्योर दैट एनी टू कॉन्जिव फ्लोर हैव डिफरेंट कलर You have to ensure that every two consecutive floors have different color. That's it. Ensure. Hmm. B. फ्लोर्स बना लो यार तुम तो ऐसे देख रहे हो क्वेश्चन जैसे पता नहीं तुम महान हो चार फ्लोर बनाओ पांच फ्लोर बनाओ हाउ आर यू एबल टू डू इट आई कैन नॉट डू इट विदाउट मेकिंग एनी डायग्राम आर यू गॉड वेरी पुअर लुकिंग एट योर मोबाइल यू आर ऑल्सो वाई आर यू लुकिंग एट योर मोबाइल गुड वेरी पुअर फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ सो फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ फाइव हाउ कैन यू डू इट विदाउट मेकिंग दिस फ्लोर प्लान मुझे तो समझ नहीं आ रहा कौन से महान हो तुम हाउ वुड यू डू इट अदरवाइज सो एक क्योंकि रेड बीच में आए हो ऑप्शन में सो वन कलर इज रेड एक ग्रीन ले लो एक ब्लू ले लो एक येलो ले लो चार कलर है राइट नाउ इज इज to ensure any two consecutive floors have different color state or main option dekh raha hu kyunki teen statement hai i'll look for the options uh, statement 2 is sufficient statement 2 says second and fourth floor are of different colors so if they are of different colors suppose this is red and this is green does that ensure that you know all the floors Have different colors. Two consecutive floors have different color. It may be, it may not be because red. फिर यहाँ भी आ सकता है. Ensure तो नहीं हो सकते ना. Green यहाँ भी आ सकता है. Because one color has to be used twice. One color has to be used twice. So you don't ensure it with this plan. So I don't think that statement one is true. Then he says, uh, statement three. Uh, first and the fifth floor are painted red. Amazing. रुको. ये रेड है ये रेड है दिस इंश्योर एनी टू कॉन्जिव फ्लोर हैव डिफरेंट कलर बाकी ग्रीन ब्लू येलो कर लो क्या इट इंश्योर इट इंश्योर बिकॉज ऊपर और नीचे सेम कलर है तो एनी टू कॉन्जिव वोट हैव सेम कलर यार आई थिंक दिस इज अ वेरी राइट स्टेटमेंट यार खुशबू लिसन क्वेश्चन क्या है टू इंश्योर एनी टू कॉन्जिव फ्लोर हैव डिफरेंट कलर इफ रेड इज फिक्स हेयर रेड इज फिक्स हेयर राइट सो ये कॉन्जिव फ्लोर डिफरेंट कलर डिफरेंट कलर डिफरेंट कलर डिफरेंट कलर ऑटोमेटिकली इंश्योर्ड है बिकॉज द कलर दैट यू हैड टू यूज टू आई 
इज यूज इन द टॉप फ्लोर एंड द बॉटम फ्लोर बीच में कुछ भी फिक्स कर दो कॉन्जिकेटिव फ्लोर में डिफरेंट कलर ही होगा बिकॉज जो रिपीटेटिव था उन्होंने तुमने टॉप और बॉटम में फिक्स कर दिया गॉट इट खुशबू आई थिंक दिस इज इट बी ब्यूटिफुल ना रिमेंबर ऋषि सर वर्ड्स मेक समथिंग एंड रिमेंबर द क्वेश्चन मार्क द क्वेश्चन क्या पूछ रहा है उसको हाईलाइट करो पेपर में इट वुड वर्क वंडर्स डाटा सफिशियंस में रिमेंबर ऋषि सर टोल्ड यू मार्क द क्वेश्चन वट इज ही आस्किंग ओके वो आ गया सेम तेरा वाला क्वेश्चन P एंड Q आर बोथ प्राइम P प्लस क्यू इज एन ऑड एंटीजर इज P इंटू क्यू ऑड सब क्लासेस में अपन लोगों ने किया हुआ कवाना वेरी नाइस है सी सी बोथ आर नॉट सफिशियंट आर यू नॉट एस बी इंटू क्यू एन ऑड एंटीचर P into Q are prime. Statement one: I would kill you for this. This is sorry. We have done it as a question in number system. You are my students. Why I am so proud of this paper is that they reflect me in the paper. Really, अब देखो किया हुआ तुमने. P and Q are both prime numbers. Shh. Now is P into Q an odd integer? If P and Q are both prime, in that case two and three लेते तो six आ जाता है. बट थ्री एंड फाइव ले लेते थ्री इंटू फाइव फिफ्टीन आ जाता है तो फर्स्ट इज नॉट सफिशियंट फर्स्ट इज नॉट सफिशियंट बट देन इज ए सेकेंड पी प्लस क्यू इज एन ऑड इंटीजर गाइस पी प्लस क्यू इज ऑड आई एम आस्किंग यू वन थिंग राइट ऑड कैसे आता है वेन वुड यू गेट एन ऑड नंबर वट इज ऑड प्लस ऑड इवन हाउ वुड यू गेट ऑड इवन प्लस ऑड स्टेटमेंट टू देख रहे हैं स्टेटमेंट उनको भूल जा गॉट इट भूल जाओ राइट स्टेटमेंट टू देख रहे हो पी इन टू क्यू इज ऑट पी प्लस क्यू इज ऑट विच मीन वन इज इवन वन इज ऑट एंड इन दैट केस इज पी इन टू क्यू ऑट यस पी इन टू क्यू इज ऑट स्टेटमेंट टू इज गिविंग यू आंसर यू मिक्स इट यार किया हुआ है सम ऑफ टू नंबर्स इज ऑड व्हेन वन इज ऑड वन इज इवन बिकॉज सम ऑफ टू इवन नंबर्स इज इवन एंड सम ऑफ टू ऑड नंबर्स इज इवन सो व्हेन यू आर गिवन सम ऑफ टू नंबर्स इट हैज टू बी वन इवन वन ऑड अगर एक इवन एक ऑड है उनको मल्टीप्लाई करोगे तो इज पी इन टू क्यून ऑड इंटीजर नो इट इज नॉट ऑड बिकॉज एक इवन एक ऑड मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज इवन नो इज द आंसर बट आंसर इज देयर स्टेटमेंट टू इज गिविंग यू आंसर No is the answer. <laughs> They are using me as a tool. Remember that, right? Go find this content anywhere. I challenge you very bravely. Go find this content anywhere. Come back because we have done the same question P plus Q. Our question, we have done in number system. Mein. Right? And I had made you write it. सम ऑफ टू नंबर इवन और लिखवाया मैंने तब तुम लोगों को सो ग्रेट क्वेश्चन ग्रेट क्वेश्चन विच वन टूगेदर आर नॉट सफिशियंट टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन बिकॉज इज इज क्वेश्चन क्या है दे आर देयर मोर देन हंड्रेड फिगर्स इन दैट बुक आर देयर सी आर देयर मोर देन हंड्रेड फिगर्स इन दैट बुक सो यू अंडरस्टैंड दे हैव बीन सो स्मार्ट यू नो दे स्टार्टेड विद स्टेटमेंट क्वेश्चन बाद में हमने क्या किया पहले क्वेश्चन फिर स्टेटमेंट्स 
सो दे आर प्लेइंग विद यू राइट एथिकली देखो दिस इज ब्यूटिफुल मेरे को तो इतनी खुशी होती है ना बिकॉज दे अंडरस्टैंड वी आर टीचिंग यू दिस दे अंडरस्टैंड वी आर टीचिंग यू दिस इज एंड इट विच मीन दे आर हैविंग दैट आइडिया यू आर बिंग टॉक दिस सो दे जस्ट क्रंच इट डिफरेंटली एंड पुट इट डिफरेंटली टू यू है ना सो अब देखो सुनो बोलते हैं देर आर नॉट मोर देन टू फिगर्स ऑन एनी ऑफ द ऑफ अ फॉर फिफ्टी वन पेज बुक सो अब दो से ज्यादा फिगर नहीं है राइट इफ ईच पेज हैज टू फिगर्स फिफ्टी वन इंटू टू कम टू बी वन जीरो टू बट यू नो ही हैज नॉट सेट दैट हर पेज पे ही टू है नॉट मोर देन टू बोला है विच मीन देर मे बी सम पेजेस वेयर देर इज वन इमेज देर मे बी सम पेजेस वेयर इट वुड बी नो इमेज ऑल्सो ठीक है कि नहीं और ही से देर इज नॉट मोर देन टू या देर इज नॉट मोर देन टू विच मीन डेफिनेटली ऐसा भी हो सकते हैं ऐसे भी पेजेस हो सकते हैं जिसमें इमेज है ही नहीं सो वी कैन नॉट से विद स्टेटमेंट वन दैट देर आर मोर देन हंड्रेड फिगर इन दैट बुक वी कैन नॉट राइट सो फर्स्ट नॉट ट्रू देन देर इज एटलीस्ट वन फिगर ऑन ईच बुक एटलीस्ट वन मीन्स मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ फिगर्स वुड बी फिफ्टी वन राइट बट एटलीस्ट वन मीन्स देर कैन बी मोर देन वन देर मे बी टू थ्री फोर फाइव टेन फिगर इन दैट बुक बिकॉज स्टेटमेंट वन में भूल गया स्टेटमेंट टू यूज कर रहा हूं स्टेटमेंट वन में भूल गया राइट सो स्टेटमेंट टू ऑल्सो डज नॉट गिव अस दिस देन कमाइनिंग देम टूगेदर इज इज देर इज एटलीस्ट वन फिगर एंड नॉट मोर देन टू फिगर्स विच मीन्स देन ऑल्सो वी कैन नॉट से मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ फिगर्स इट इज सी या इट वुड बी अ रेंज एब्सोल्युटली राइट है ना ग्रेट खुश मैम रियली प्राउड ऑफ यू यार यू हैव जस्ट पिक्ड इट अप बिकॉज पहले जब हम कर रहे थे ये नहीं थे है ना दीज वर नॉट देयर सो यू आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इट बट देन वी वर यूजिंग इट एज अ स्टैंडर्ड राइट ये साल गए हा ट्वेंटी 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 ए पियूष दिस बैच हैज मोर देन वन सेवेंटी स्टूडेंट्स यू नो दैट एंड हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू टर्न अप बी ये मुझे अब ना पढ़ने का भी मन नहीं कर रहा मैं जब जाऊंगा तभी पढ़ूंगा इतना एक्चुअली यू नो इट्स बगिंग यू डोट अंडरस्टैंड इट आई मे एक्चुअली फेल अगर मैं अभी पढ़ दूंगा मैं वहीं जाके पढ़ूंगा और वहीं करूं तुम अपना आंसर दो आई थिंक वन ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट वुड गिव यू आंसर स्टेटमेंट वुड गिव यू एन आंसर ही सेज लेसन द लास्ट डे ऑफ द मंथ इज अ वेडनेस डे क्वेश्चन क्या है विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट नाउ द थिंग्स हैव चेंज अगेन राइट नाउ ही सेज समथिंग एल्स right which of the following statement is correct with respect to the statements in the question uh what is uh, what is the question is what is the 14th day of the month right question is this the last day of the month is wednesday first statement now last day of the month can be 31st also 30th also 28 also 29 also right so pehli se to nahi aa raha uttar then the third saturday of the month was 17th day the third saturday was the 17th day third saturday 17th tha dekhna zara so usse pehle saturday 10 hoga so 3 hoga ek saturday usse agla saturday kab hoga 24 ko ek saturday hoga और उससे अगला सैटरडे कब होगा बट ही हैजेंट सेड एनीथिंग लाइक दैट मतलब क्वेश्चन क्या है वट डे इज द फोर्टीन ऑफ दिस मंथ सो सेवनटीन सैटरडे है तो फोर्टीन आ जाएगा क्या प्रॉब्लम है वाई आर यू बॉर्डर्ड कौन सा है कितना है उससे क्या बी से आंसर आ तो रहा है वट इज द डे Uh, what day is the 14th of this month definitely if 17th is saturday 14th can be easily found out here so you don't need to bother right answer is b a yeah, r relationship oh ye question shay delete karwa diya tha i don't know ye wahi to nahi hai one question got deleted na dekho zara wahi to nahi hai ye very good aman zibita kawana thank you yaar geeta good yaar 
एट लीस्ट देर आर पीपल दोज हुर आंसरिंग अरे गीता इज देयर गीता वाई आई यू नॉट कमिंग फॉर द क्लासेस एंड वेयर इज मंजोर टूडे हाँ एक मिनट मंजोत वेयर आर यू यू आर इन डेली एंड यू आर नॉट कमिंग वट इज नॉट दिस इज नॉट फेयर मंजोत हम्म फिर भी नहीं आया ये ये देखना मुझे लगता है इसमें कुछ है यही तो नहीं क्वेश्चन था जो हटा दिया था देर इज वन क्वेश्चन दैट वॉज यू नो रिमूव बाई यूपीएससी अब मैं इसमें पढ़ना नहीं चाहता ऑल <laughs> फोर तो नहीं होगा होगा ऑल फोर चाहिए देखें मैं अभी कुछ नहीं कह सकता खुशबू राइट मैं जब तक बनाऊंगा नहीं मैं कुछ नहीं बोलूंगा यू कैन नॉट फिल माई शूज राइट नाउ दिस इज वुड बी माई थर्टी क्वेश्चन राइट यू कैन My head is now fully muddied. <laughs> right. Now I can make a mistake because I've done nearly thirty questions, na? I can make a mistake. चलो करते हैं. सुनो. आ मारो. <laughs> right. A B C D and E in a family. Have you done relationship? Karan is amazing in that part. Right. Karan sir is really good at that part. Huh? <laughs> I said relations as a topic. You are keeping away what nobody wants to be with you. <laughs> These are two things. No, no, no. Jokes are jokes. You made one, I made one, right? Tell us, Anu. What is the relation between A and B? A and B are married. What was the married symbol? है ना लड़ रहे हैं बी आर हिटिंग इच अदर दिस इज लाइक मैरिड किलिंग इच अदर तो फर्स्ट आई थिंक ए ई एंड बी का रिलेशन कैन नॉट बी गिवन बाय फर्स्ट अब ऑप्शन सुन लो वन टू एंड थ्री टू डी इज अ फादर ऑफ सी डी इज अ फादर ऑफ सी सो डी इज अ मेल है ना and this is a arrow down something sir said hai na right and uh, third e is d's son e is d's son e is again d ka son na c ka hame nahi pata hai pehli teen statement se to nahi aa raha kuch right because he saying what is the relation between e and b so there has to be something between b and d or something like that so e is and then a and c are sisters a and c are sisters so no guys a and c are sisters a oh sorry a and c are sisters c is a is again a and c are sisters guys please and a and b are married couple definitely in that case b is a male we assume that right aajkal nahi chalta <laughs> right so definitely all three are required now what is e and b ka relation definitely when all of them are required because now we know that e is going to be brother in law of b all four are required you right upsc has not said that Got it, got it, got it. Because it, there has been a lot of problems in the questions on relations, not relationships, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All four are required. All four are required. मैंने वैसे try तो किया यार. One, three, one, two or three try किया. डिड यू गेस यार ये रिक्वायर्ड था फिर से डी और सी का रिलेशन रिक्वायर्ड था एक मिनट सुनना गाइस 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 डी और सी रिक्वायर्ड था ये रिक्वायर्ड था देखना वॉज इट रिक्वायर्ड वॉज दिस रिक्वायर्ड वन थ्री और फोर से हो नहीं रहा ठीक है ठीक है ओके 
चलो यार ओह वेट 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 इट इज नॉट पी टू इट इज पी स्क्वायर ग्रेटर देन क्यू स्क्वायर इज पी ग्रेटर देन क्यू थैंक यू जबिता कवाना सी आई टोल्ड यू आई वोट स्टॉप टूडे बिकॉज आई वोट बी डूइंग डी एस अगेन What do you want to do? Probability tomorrow or linear equations tomorrow? Linear, easy, linear. कर लोगे। चलो tomorrow we'll do linear equations. Okay? हाँ? Probability Monday को करते हैं। सामा, are you able to do it? हो रहा है? तूने किया था कुछ? Now we would remember your name. We have the same fan following, Salman Bhai. We are both followers of Salman Bhai. I have seen him once. Yeah, I have met him in Delhi only. Not met in camps. Come on, yes. I mean, I have seen him and I feel I have met him. He doesn't even know me. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes aside, मेरे जैसे तो बतानी रोज़ हज़ारों मिलते होंगे उसको यार. This very handsome guy. Very handsome. Superb guy. More respect for him when I saw him and met him, kind of. No more respect. No attitude, nothing. I was like 1:30 p.m. at p 1:30 night, right? A.M. Some restaurant we were sitting and he came. He was totally done, tired. He says, "I want to eat dal chawal." Sat on the floor. Eat dal chawal, Ram se kha ke sab ko da da da. Pata nahi kya tip tip deke chala gaya. Amazing guy. Nahi. He would never come. It's seven star, seven star restaurant facility. They would never. Hoj gas pound ya to hoj gas me band ho jayega sab kuch. Hoj gas is a very overrated place, I believe. Not expensive. I don't. No, ah, uh, meaningly overrated in a term that I didn't find it any any vibe or something. मतलब Even Pushkar has better vibes. Pushkar, no, no. I mean, vibe means vibe, no. No, no. Pushkar, I mean to say, there are great places to eat at Pushkar also, right? I am not comparing in terms of places to eat, right? Now, Brahma Ji's temple is there. I have full respect for that. Come on. I didn't find it happening, though. I went there seven, but like seven, eight years back. So not re recently, I haven't been to any restaurants for three, four years. I don't go eat out. मुझे कुछ पता नहीं है इसका. I don't want to read it. Also, actually, it's not P two. यार ये P square is greater than Q square. Please, this is my mistake. Statement one is uh, oh, is P greater than Q? P greater than Q? So question is, is P greater than Q? सी दे डील इन इन इक्वालिटीज दे डील वे वेट यार मेरे को नहीं पता मैं एक मिनट मैं करके देखता हूं मुझे नहीं पता स्टेटमेंट वन पी इंटू क्यू इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो सो पी इंटू क्यू इज पॉजिटिव बट दैट वोट गिव अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन पी एंड क्यू इफ पी इंटू क्यू इज पॉजिटिव विच मीन पी इज पॉजिटिव क्यू इज पॉजिटिव पी इज नेगेटिव क्यू इज नेगेटिव बट इनका आपस में क्या रिश्ता है रिलेशन है वो नहीं पता सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट गिविंग यू आंसर सेकेंड P square is greater than Q square. This is not fair, actually. First time I realized that this is mathematical. I would not do it like this. I would do it like P square minus Q square is positive, which means P minus Q. Please, P plus Q is positive. A square minus B square is A minus B A plus B. Now again, treat it as Two quantities a into b. So if this is positive, this would be positive, right? Which means if this is positive, p is greater than q, or this is positive, p is positive again, na? Greater than minus q. So dono positive hoga. So dono positive hoga. So a positive with the p minus q is positive, which means p is greater than q. P plus q is positive, which means p is greater than 
माइनस क्यू बट क्वेश्चन क्या है क्वेश्चन क्या है वट इज द क्वेश्चन इज पी ग्रेटर देन क्यू पी इज ग्रेटर देन क्यू इट मे बी मे नॉट बी नहीं वेट 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 कंबाइन करना कंबाइन करना नहीं कंबाइन से कुछ हो नहीं रहा बोथ आर पॉजिटिव ना अगर कंबाइन करते हैं देखना बोथ आर पॉजिटिव P is positive, Q is positive. Then P is greater than. नहीं यार कुछ नहीं बनना. No, नहीं, no, not working, not working. Answer is question cannot be answered by using both the statement together, right? यार values मत put करना. Okay, you were you were looking for ठीक है चलेगा. And it worked. बस ठीक है. यार वे यार मैं नहीं कर रहा आ गया ये दिस इज 23 स्टार्ट हा डू इट एनी वेज You remember Piyush? <laughs> Now, how would you do it? Come on, he put set theory and uh, data sufficiency together. Never done that before. See what he has done. ये मुझे पीछे से ही शुरू करना चाहिए था है ना? We're all sorted and done right now. Or <laughs> oh, yeah, do it as a homework, right? Get back to me on tomorrow. We'll do it on tomorrow basis. Eh? Really tired, right? Huh? Huh? I have already done that. In the, on Telegram group, I've already done that, right? So you have this PPT on Telegram. These are the last seven eight questions that you have to do. Try it. This is twenty twenty three, and then we'll do it again because I'm really done and dusted. Right. I've done too many questions, and yes, when you are doing, uh, when you are solid, not doing, when you are attempting data sufficiency as a topic, my request to all of you: do not do, uh, do not attempt more than ten questions at one go. So now your only homework is: if you are smart, intelligent, by evening this should be done, and it should be on the Telegram group, sir. Answer do, so that I just get it done on the Telegram group.